Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're continuing on with the Flippy Flappy Envelope Journal Cover. This is the third video of it, so if you haven't seen the first two, go back and watch those. Um, we're just gonna continue on covering up um, the white spaces of our envelopes is basically what we're doing here. So, and I'm using, once again, my watercolor, um, I, I keep calling them watercolor pages. They're not watercolor pages. They are copy paper that I painted with cheap Crayola watercolors. That's what they are. So, and they're just my leftover scraps from other projects. So I decided to use them here. Um, so how is your flippy flappy envelope cover coming along? Have you started yours yet? That is the question. <laughs> question that I have. Now that we're on to video three, I'm curious as to whether or not you have started yours. I actually had requests um, to do this video after doing a flip through a while back of one of my journals. I'm just now getting around to actually accomplishing it, but I am accomplishing it. <laughs> just, just took me a little bit longer than uh, maybe desired. So. I don't want to use that one there. I think I might use some of that one. So cut this piece down a bit. If you guys want a tutorial on how I paint my pages, let me know. I thought about doing that at first, doing that video first and then coming back. I was like, nah, surely they don't want that. <laughs> but then again, you might, I don't know. So I'm asking you and leaving the decision up to you. I have fun painting um, with watercolors and just making pretty pages. Don't know if that anybody else would, but um, I find it quite relaxing. Okay, so we have a few more. Flip that one open, flip that one open, flip that one open. Now we're on to this one gonna need some larger pieces for it so let's use some of this because I really want to use this piece and trim it down am I on camera still yeah I am I'll move it up though a bit okay Can't get it all the way to the edge, that annoys me. Oops. Don't fold the page. Come on, work with me here. Okay. That's better. Okay, trim this a little bit. one do I want to put underneath that one? Got a bit of that left. It goes nicely. It's not really long enough. Well, maybe actually. No, it's almost almost just right. So let's use it. I know there's a lot of people out there that want a digital free tutorial. I wanted one whenever I first started journaling because, I mean, yeah, digitals are cheap, but they can also become very pricey very quickly. So, um, even though the uh, Etsy seller may only have the digitals priced at, you know, I don't know, $3 for a set of digitals, um, then you add in your paper, your ink. Uh, 
and then not only that, but most people don't just want one set <laughs> for a journal. So then, you know, the price just continues to go up from there. So it can get pricey quickly. Um, so on the one hand, yeah, they might be cheap, and on the other hand, they're not really. Especially whenever you're on a tight budget, it doesn't feel like it's cheap at all, which I agree. Um, not trying to steer anybody away from digitals. If you like digitals, that's fine. Just for those who, you know, they can't print them, can't afford it, you know, something like that. Um, I hope this video is helpful to them. Need, need, I need, I need some smaller pieces. I think I could use that one there. Okay, there's that piece. Go ahead and trim it because if I don't, it'll bother me. Okay. <laughs> I do not want that piece there at all. That one would be okay, but I think I'll put it to that side. If you're thinking this looks hideous right now, just wait, we're not done. Okay, we're not done. <laughs> Gotta start with the base, then move forward. this one <clears throat> we'll glam it up in the next video hopefully by the next video hopefully I can get all the paper down in this one if I can be fast enough about it I think I could use that that little bit of that scrap left This one wasn't wanting to stick down here. Add a bit of art glitter glue to that. I don't know if I can get my pen back in my my glue bottle. Okay, so this one needs a lot of work. So let's just start laying pages down. Maybe that one, that one. Um, maybe do a bit of purple there, purple stripe there. We'll start with that. Okay, let's scoot this forward so that we have a bit of room to glue. Okay. Got that one. This one is going to be the next one.
know. I'm way off camera, aren't I? Sorry. I'm going to set it over there for just a second because I've got to have space to glue at the same time. Got those three down. Flip this over and trim all this. Okay. Trim the top while I'm at it. Okay. So there's that. Now let's maybe take. No, nope, I don't want that side by side. Maybe some of this. Kind of um, definitely is reminiscent of like hippie vibes in my opinion. Okay. At first I was thinking it would look kind of boho, but I, I think it's went completely hippie. What is underneath this? Why is it wrinkly? Oh, it's just glue. Gross. Glue kind of tore up there. It's making it lumpy and bumpy. Now it's on my fingers. Okay, what next piece? What next piece? You want to use some of that? Maybe not. I have some blue over here. Oops. Maybe I could fill that spot in there with that orange. I think that'll work. Okay. I'm actually gonna pull this down and try to <laughs> glue this, glue this up here. Cause I'm getting a lot of glue on my uh, pages where I don't want it. After I glue in one spot for so long, I move, <laughs> move around so that it doesn't get on the front side of my work. Cause otherwise it does. I also have this thin blue piece. I lost my orange piece. There it is. There's the orange piece. Could go with the blue. I think the orange stands out a bit more. I think I'll do the orange. Try to scoot it up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully that's on camera. Okay, get this glue off my fingers. And then we need a piece right there to fill that in. Um, got a bit of purple, I think it works well. So I'll just get some glue on it. Then I have one more envelope to decorate. Okay, so let's trim this one down. Make sure you don't cut into your envelopes. Costing you some extra repair work. Okay. Um, I'm gonna set that aside over here. Somewhere out of the way so I can decorate this one. Okay. So let's see. How about using up some of these scraps over here? Okay, let's start with this orange piece. My niece um, typically was helping me paint whenever I painted these. And she, um, she likes to paint just in a small spot and then of course the whole page done. And Auntie covers the entire page of paint. And so there's several things that she doesn't understand when we watch she's like, 
Auntie, uh, why do you put so much paint, you know, on your page? And I'm like, well, Auntie wants the whole page covered. She's like, but why, you know? And um, she, she'll put just a little dot on it. She's like, okay, done. And I'm like, don't you want to put more on that page? Like, did you want to put some over there on that white spot over there? She's like, nope, it's done. Okay. And, um, I think part of it's she, I found out the other day she's trying to race me. She's trying to paint more pinches than Auntie. It's, everything's got to be erased nowadays. nowadays. Um, so I learned that. So maybe that's why, uh, her page gets a dot and it's, it's done. Um, and then sometimes whenever I was painting like this one, I was doing yellow and orange and I think some red that ended up just looking orange. And she's like, why are you painting the whole thing yellow and orange? Don't you want to put some black on it? And I'm like, nope, Auntie doesn't want black on it. But why? And I'm like, well, Auntie doesn't want uh, the black on it because Auntie wants it to be bright colors. But black's a nice color, Auntie. And I'm like, no, well, yeah, it is, but I don't want it. You should use black. And I'm like, nope, I'm not using black. So, um, I don't know, it's, it's quite funny. She's five and adorable. So, and the other day uh, she was over and I was like, you wanna paint with Auntie? She's like, nope. I'm like, okay, well, Auntie's gonna go paint. And if you decide you want to, you know, just let Auntie know and Auntie will paint with you. And um, I was like, if, you, if it's later, even after Auntie's done painting, Auntie will paint. Like, no big deal. She comes into my room, she's like, Auntie, why are you painting without me? And I said, well, you told Auntie you didn't want to paint. And um, she's like, but you painted all of these pages without me? And I'm like, yes, you said you didn't want to paint. And she's like, but, but why? And I'm like, well, I don't know why Sophie doesn't want to paint, you know? And um, she, I was like, do you want to paint? She's like, nope. She left. And then she comes in a little bit later all upset again. She's like, Auntie, why did you paint all these pages without me? I'm like, Sophie, you said you didn't want to paint with Auntie. Do you want to paint now? Nope. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You know, I tried. Why do you see what Auntie needs to do? I don't know. She's, she's a ham. Sometimes she wants to paint, sometimes she's just like, nope, not having it. So Auntie just decided the other day that I would just paint without her. She didn't want to paint with me. Apparently that upset her. I was like, Auntie's willing to paint with you at any given moment. She's just like, nope, not having it. I just want to watch cartoons today. Thanks, Aunt. So, twiz what it is. She's um, kind of glued to that little brother of hers right now. <clears throat> uh, my dad was kind of teasing her the other day. My sister having a C-section, she wanted her uh, my nephew put on the couch so that she could, you know, sit down beside him and get him out of the car seat. And so um, she said, "I'm going to the bathroom. Dad, would you please put um, Samuel?" on the um, couch so that whenever I get back, I can get him out of the car seat. And he's like, yeah, sure. And so while well, Sophia was sitting on the left seat with him, that's where he had gotten set by, I believe it was my brother-in-law, Zach. And Sophia was sitting beside him. Well, as soon as my dad moved him, Sophia jumped up, jumped down off of the um, left seat and ran over there to sit by Samuel. And um, my dad kind of, I laughed about it and I laughed about it and um, he picked up Samuel again in the car seat and moved him back over to the love seat and Sophia had gotten tuned into the cartoons so she didn't realize what happened and my dad's like Sophie she, he, she goes what and he's like where's Samuel and so she looked right in front of her where he was just a few seconds ago and at that moment the shock look on her face like where's my brother what just happened but um the moment she realized that happened she immediately started looking around for him found him on the couch or on the love seat I mean and um, was like, Papa. And it's like, Papa teasing you again? Yes. But she's gotten to where she's like guarding him. It's quite cute. 
So Dixie guards Sophie and Sophie guards Samuel. And Dixie being the um, pup, she's not really a pup anymore, she's a year old, but um, her mom and the, all the pups got left at my sister's. Or well, right down the road from my sister's, I believe it was. And my sister ended up taking them all in. And um, they kept the mama dog and then uh, passed off all of the babies to other people that would take them in. My brother took one of the dogs in. Her name's Dixie. <clears throat> and Dixie's glued to Sophie. She gets so excited. Even if you just say the name Sophie, she knows what that means. And she will jump up on the couch and look out the window with her toy, like, ready to play. It's like, well, Sophie's actually not here right now, so... She's not very thrilled when that happens. Um, but She's definitely one that, if anything was, which nothing's ever gonna happen to my niece, I, I'm not claiming anything's gonna ever happen to her, but we just always said, you know, if we couldn't find Sophie or something, we would just send Dixie after her because she'd find her. She actually plays hide and seek with her, so. She'd find her quite quickly and quite easily. Um, you can literally tell Dixie to play hide and seek with Sophie. And she will sit and wait while Sophie goes hide. And then um, whenever Sophie says, I'm ready, she'll take off and find her. Which is really nice if you don't want to play hide and seek in that moment that Sophie wants to play hide and seek. Because then, she just opts for Dixie. And sometimes like, she just wants Dixie to play with her, playing hide and seek now. And she still doesn't always understand the concept of hide and seek. She's, but I mean, she's five, so what do you expect? Uh, her concept is hide, of hiding is put me in this box and then come find me. You know, <laughs> doesn't really work like that. But okay, Sophie. That's how you want to play. And my dad plays along so well with her. Um, puts her in the box. And whenever she says, okay, I'm ready, come find me. You know, dad just starts searching all over the house. And he even starts hollering, you know, Sophie, is she in the bathroom? You know, or is she uh, in Mama, Mama and Papa's room? Or this or that? And, I'm just dying laughing the whole time. So Sophie in the box. She's just cracking up. Thinks it's hilarious that she, he can't find her. But it's, it's fun to watch. What's going on here? Did I, did I miss a spot? I'll fix it. Sorry for taking being slow. Oh, either I'm fast and I don't talk, <laughs> or I talk and I end up being slow. I don't think that I want that there since the purple's right beside it. I want this piece, but I need it smaller, much, much smaller. I don't know where I put my paper cutter that I had, you know. Oh, there it is. It's gonna say like not very long ago. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I can cut this down without tearing it. We'll see. And hopefully, one of them's the right size. Whoops, that one's close enough. I don't know how much of this is being done on camera. I hope all of it's on camera. But I make no promises. Okay, there's that piece. Just need a few more, just a few more, just a few more. like I could cut this piece down to right about there. 
put that there. Now maybe I could use that piece there and then I'll find another small scrap to put beside it. Should I use that piece there? Should I try to find a different one? I don't know that I have another long one like that. So I think I'm just going to go with this one. It'll, it'll do. Well, I do have this piece. Which, I mean, I think I like it better, but I'm going to do this one. Because that makes all the sense, right? Okay. So we're pushing our time being up. Let me put the envelopes kind of back together so you can see what it looks like. So did this one go over that one, or did it go the other way, which which one was first? <laughs> now that's my question. Okay, so I know this one flips, this one flips, this one flips, this one flips. Okay, I think I got it the right way. Okay, so once we um, put stuff in the pockets and add more decorations to it, it's going to look completely different, but that's it so far. <laughs> that's our base, what we're working with, and like I said in one of the other videos, we've already done this part of the cover so if you haven't seen that go back and watch that um and this is going to connect connect on there like so so we'll do that in another video thanks so much for watching guys i hope you join me in the next video and continue the series with me bye